Hi guys, um, this is just going to be a quick, oh, sorry, let me get comfortable, um, this is just a quick um, updated makeup collection, I've done three already but this is another update to my collection, I thought I would share it with you guys and again as I say in my, all my videos, if you like what you see and you want to do a talk, uh, tutorial on it or a review I'll be more than happy to and what I'm wearing on my eyes and on my lips tonight is in my makeup collection so instead of me gabbing on or talking in English I will show you my makeup collection now this is my oh I love this bag my Hello Kitty collection bag and it's got like all the bowls around it in a picture there and a little like faces there and I'll just show you what's in there it's quite a few bits so it may take long I don't know how to speed it up so sorry you can stop the video halfway through if you want so let's get started shall we this is my it's from Superdrug and this is mostly from well all this in there in here is from Gillish Cosmetics and Superdrug and this is pearl lip balm with a hint of shimmer and colour. I haven't used it yet, as you can see, it's so in its packaging. But I absolutely love it. I got it because it was only 99p and it's pink. I love pink. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's on the video as well. Sorry. All again. Excuse me. So that's the first thing. And this came with a set listed. This is from NYC and it was from the new pound land, it was only a pound. And it's automatic eye pencil and it's in Vampy Violet. You can see the name. I don't be able to because my lighting's been a bit crappy tonight. That's Vampy Violet and it's just like a eye pencil and that is actually what, what I'm wearing on my eyes tonight. But if you can see a bit of blue, I'm also wearing my shimmer stick which will sh I will show you in this video as well. And with this, it comes with a eye to eye, which is a new thing I highlight and if I can get this open, a highlight and a contour. And the brush, oh, so soft, I love it. And that is like the highlight there, and that's the colour. I haven't used any of this yet, only the lipstick and the eye thing and a few bits and bobs. And the next thing, just picking random stuff out, it's not in order, so I'm just grabbing whatever I, is nearest. I bought this today from Goodness Cosmetics, and we'll just take the price off. It was 2 25 and I just, oh, it was gorgeous. And it, I got it because it was Lee Fam, and I got a few things from that brand. And it's an eyeshadow and blusher, and those are the eyeshadows, I'll just open it and show you. Those are the colours, I love it. And inside is the mirror and blushes I love it so yeah and, and the blushes have got shimmer in it so if you want a hint of shimmer when you go out on in the blush you've got that so that is that the next thing is take a few things out and the next thing is my Revlon Golden Affair Merla at Midnight Sculpting Blush and that's what it looks like and I would just can't wait to use all these it's going to be amazing so that is that and this is my chit chat eyeshadow quartet and it's just all blue colours and it's going everywhere and it come with these little brushes and they're so tiny I you know they're cute but I wouldn't use them I'll just use my other brushes and that is the colours oh, they're so gorgeous I just love them so much they would I did have a I did want a pink one but they had, didn't have it in stock so I sadly got the blue one but that was good the next one is Rimmel London metallic eyes and it's in E quox I think I'll just take it off and show you. This one's got a hint of shimmer in it. I should have got the other one out with it. Oh, there it is. So I'll show you that one next. Why can't I open things tonight? And um, that is, oh, it is gorgeous. You can use that as a base or a smoky eye look or just for like a normal eyeshadow. And this is in Soho. And that is 
what the front looks like, the same as the other one, but obviously this one's pink. This one is a matte pink. And the next thing, oh, I've got itchy finger. This one <coughs> is by Wet n Wild and it's a natural oil free foundation. Also, my phone's going. <coughs> Just move my hair out of the way. And that's what it looks like. And yeah, the colour looks near to mine. So, can't wait to use that as well. As I said in the beginning, all of this I haven't used yet, so I can't really tell you what I think of it. Only a couple of things that I've used that I can actually tell you about. This is Astor, and it's in coral red, and this is what I got on my lips now. If you can see, it's actually true to its colour. And do, do, do. this is my Lavelle Twist Up Eyebrow Pencil, and it's just like a brown colour. I've got that on my eyebrows now, <laughs> so hopefully it looks okay. And my other things is my Wet n Wild Energizing Speed Lip Gloss, and it's in Chaotic Pink. I quite like the packaging, it's quite cute and pink and girly. And the next one is NYC Eyeshadow, it's like a thing. If you look, it lights up when you do that. I'll open it, oh, I can't open it, it's stuck down. And this is my MUA Hiding Concealer Stick. Now what I've done is I had spots here before. I don't mind telling you. Um, I had spots here before and I just used that tonight and just covered it up like no problem at all. My next thing is my Wet n Wild Lipstick and that's the colour there. I'll just show you if I get a little. Oh, it's like a fuchsia pink. I love it. The next stuff is, sorry, this is going to take ages to get through, but I'll try and be as quick as I can, so sorry guys. And this is Too True Cheek and Lip Tint. I've used it once, and I absolutely hated it. The colour, just, like the brush, it made, like, it tickled your lips as you put it on, and it just didn't even stay on. I was like, ugh. And this, I got on my eyes at the side, and it's my Razzle Dazzle Eye Shimmer, and ugh, it's just gorgeous. It's like a little potion bottle now. Oops. And this is just like a base Lee Fam again nail varnish. And my next nail varnish is my New York City one. I think it's in Mama, I think the name. And I'll just show you my collection 2000 things. So these are the eyeshadows, and they're just um, single quads. This one is in Gold Digger. That colour is like a gold. It doesn't look gold on the cam, but believe me, it's gold. And the next one is Showgirl. And it's just like a kind of matte green. And I can't get it open. There you go. And that's just like a matte green. And this is Wet n Wild Cream Eyeshadow in blue. I want to get the rest because I've got other gorgeous colours. So I really want to get them. This is my Rimmel London Stay Glossy just in black. This is my Laval Pearl Eyeshader. This is a Maybelline London Lipstick slash Lip Gloss in, in Luna Lilac. And I'll just take the rest out so it's easy for me to get to. I'm like, oh my god, I'm taking it forever. So sorry, guys. And the other ones are my Sleek Fruit Glaze in Black Cherry. Oh, and the smell is gorgeous. It makes you want to eat it, but don't, don't eat it. And this is KG and it's Nun's Crazy Girl Powder Blush in 003. And this is my Better Spa Blusher in that colour and it actually comes with, if you flip that up, if it's going to open, ew, if it's actually going to, why is it not opening, I'll press one thing, <laughs> just comes with like a mirror and a brush. 
And this is just like an eye quad that I never use. The colour's just too bland for me. I didn't even know what it was. So I got it. It's just like in a little box. I was bought because it was a pound. This was a pound again. And it's Wimmer London Blush in Summer Fever. Blendable powder, blush and highlighter. That's quite good. Long lasting, natural, sheer finish. And this is Astral in Flamico Red. And it's just like a blush. And I can't wait to use this. Oh, look at that. This gorgeous colour. And you can actually use one as a highlight as well. And this is my Tomorrow's Girl Other Concealer in Dark. So if I lose that one or break it or whatever, I've got a spare. This is my W7 Raspberry Ripple Lipstick. And that is the colour. And this is my colour seduction kind of lip thing and this is my Technic glitter mascara and this cost me two pound on it oh my god. The first time I used it I thought Ugh, I'm never gonna use it again so I don't recommend this but all the other ones I definitely recommend. It doesn't even come out blue, it just comes out like you put black mascara on. And my last one is my Miss Sporty Mini Me Eyeliner eh, eyeliner in the neon blue so that is it guys i know it took forever to get through so i'm so sorry but i hope you enjoyed it and if you want me to review anything do a tutorial on any of them i'd be more than happy to so take care and hope to talk to all of you soon bye